Okay, so the morning of a tour day, uh, we are here in the Consensus All American room. We utilize this room, the biggest part is for meals. Uh, the guys get about two meals a day during the season. Right now during camp we provide three meals a day, sometimes even four, including a snack. But as you guys will see when you see this Consensus All American room, it's, it's great for our players. We didn't have it at the old building, we do now. It provides a family atmosphere for our guys to sit down, watch TV, watch highlights of past seasons and games. So right now our guys are loading the vans over at the Marriott and they'll be coming in and enjoying the first meal of the day, which is the breakfast. Okay. All right. BLN, Big Leather Nuts. This is what the kickoff coverage unit is all about. This is the mentality, this is the pulse of the football team. You're on this unit, you should take a lot of damn pride in being on the kickoff coverage unit. All right. So, what does BLN mean? It means balls out. Balls out. The faster you run, the clearer your picture. Make the return team fit your speed. If they can't run, run by their ass. Okay? Out run and out hit your opponent. We have that on your t-shirts for a reason. Okay? We are running fast and we are out running them and out hitting them. What does the L mean? Lane discipline and leverage. All right? Talk to it's the same as punt, guys, all right? Kickoff coverage is no different. And never get pushed by the play. That's the biggest mistake on all special teams coverage units. You think you're running, you got the guys on your hip pocket, you gotta stack them, right? And he just nudges you by the play. You, you know, you, you think you did a good job. No, you didn't. You get pushed by the play, you're wrong, all right? You're nasty. Be the first to punch him right in the mouth, all right? Be the first to fight. Like I said, you measure the pulse of the football team by your kickoff coverage unit. You start the game, and you go down there and whack someone's ass, and the crowd gets nuts, all right? It's on. It's on. That's how you start a football game. Much better. Much better. Let's go. Get your pads low. Get your hips down. Get your hips down. Bend those freaking knees. Bend those knees. Bend those knees, that's your focus, or that's your focal point today, your point of concentration is on bending your knees, getting your hips down. Inside, Miles. Whoa! Start it over. Don't go right behind them. Hey, keep separation, separation. And don't stand in behind the guy. There you go. Miles, lock your hand out. Lock your arm out. It's no different than no different than man to man. Make sure you got that spacing. You know what I mean? Make sure you're we want to be this far away. So if I'm trailing your ass, I'm I'm here. You got me? So then when you make a cut, I've got an opportunity to to keep my space. Hit! Alright, Peter. Break! Keep your elbows in, elbows in. Hit! Break, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, listen, you know where we're on this line? I'm watching your back knee, okay? So when you go like this, is that a strong position? No. Okay, so boom, boom, down the line. That's what the line's for. I know you're not looking at that, but that's what I'm looking at, okay? So hit! Better. Break. Say hit! There you go. Say hit. Back to the inside, ball out with our left, tackle with our right. Say hit. Don't get too tight to him, 28. Damn. Say hit. Come on, Miles, let's go, let's go. Say hit. Now, hey, now part of the problem is, Miles, Jake, you guys are getting, you're getting lazy at the top and you're starting to stand up a little bit. So when you got to put a foot in the ground, you're a little bit off kilter, and that's why you're leaning forward. You got to you got to put another foot in the ground. Stay down low and run. Say hit. There you go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Transition. Make sure you get water. We got block drill coming up. Okay, we have not dominated a block drill yet. Today's the day. Let's go. Break it down. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Dominate. Knee vertical, knee vertical, get vertical, vertical, get your elbows in, get your elbows in. 
Get your knees going that way, guy. That way, not back to me. Going vertical, north, not south. Vertical, 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 vertical. Hey, hey, you know why he kicked your ass? You know why he kicked your ass? Because his elbows are in. His elbows are in, yours are not. Get your elbows in. Ron, that's better. Hey, that's better. Just like that. Why not every time? Why not every time? I'm Brady McDonald. I'm one of the I'm the chef and owner of Boston in downtown Iowa City. And uh, we're here to show you a little bit of what we do for, for the football team. We have today we're serving lasagna, our homemade lasagna. Make everything from scratch in-house. Beef, ricotta. Mozzarella, homemade tomato sauce, and cheese. We have our herb crusted chicken breast. We usually take two per. These guys get hungry, we need their protein. Sugar snap peas today. We always try to bring a green vegetable for them. Good healthy portion of that. So that's the start of our plate. Then we have garden salads. Each player gets their own salad, individual salad. Then coming down here to dessert, we have our homemade apple bars. So it's Granny Smith apples, cinnamon, sugar, a little butter, and uh, bake it off. Top with another sugar topping on, and that's it. All right, so CJ, tell, talk to me about the drive series. What's the, what does the drive series tell you? First of all, your protection is s -Pat. So, so what shower. family are you in, in protection? You're in the turn family, so. You're in the turn family. Well, it's got the four down the back side. Um, the shallow ball is going to be your hot ball to the front side. So if you get a blitz off that side, your shallow handles that and takes one off the back side. Um, it's a crossing route. Uh, it's a triangle read. You play Z1, uh, tight end number two, and then the A-backs uh, going to the flat number three. Okay. And uh, B has a post. It's a quarter meter. You get some type of quarters coverage. Okay. What CJ said was was pretty good. So it is a triangle read. So it's one, two, three. It's a triangle read. Got a nine route at the top here with a mandatory outside release. He's trying to widen that. How do you know if the shallow is ready to receive the ball? Me? Yes. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, the, the receiver will give you eyes. If, if, yeah. there's, if there's no uh, problem over there, It'll give you eyes. If there's anybody over there, he's not going to give you eyes. He's going to keep running. So you may actually see when we get to the uh, to the teaching tapes. You know there there'll be some in there where the receiver's just running, and he never actually looks at the quarterback. Uh, so he is protecting you from intercept and interception, and he's protecting him from a blow up. Hard to see. We yeah. Three, five, one, two. Three. Two. Okay, two. Then I. I Next round's worth two points. Yes, sir. Let's go. No, you don't. OT. Yeah. Closest to the Hawkeye. 
Good game. Maybe next time. Oh, wow, now we got smacked. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. What? Good job, O. Good job, O. Good job, O. Right hash. Right hash. Huddle up. Huddle up. Huddle up. Yes, sir, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Good job, O. Yeah, let's go. Good job. We need one more. We got to get this one more. Let's go. Good job. One more, boom. Good job. Yeah, first. Great protection. Good job, Mir. First step. Yes, sir. Woo! Good job, O. Good job. We got it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, boys. We're trying to develop consistency. Okay, so all this stuff I'm talking about, you're out here practicing in tough circumstances. All right, you got to fight through it. All right, if something bad happens, you got to fight through it. But the objective is to be learning, to be getting better. So we develop consistency. Okay, that's what we're looking for there. And the last thing, if our best guys don't play their best, if they're not the guys helping us come out of the sticky situations, if they're not the guys pushing us forward, okay, it's, it's not going to happen. I can just tell you that right now. Okay. So it's incumbent upon the guys that have been out there, that have played, that have experience. You guys got to lead the way. Okay, you got to lead the way. Hey, but this is equal opportunity. Everybody's got a chance here. Okay, everybody in this group has a chance to impress us, impress your teammates, and, and you know earn playing time. Everybody's got that opportunity. But if our best guys aren't getting better, if they're not leading, they can't, can't think about having a good team. It just doesn't work that way. It's not how sports are. Okay. So let's uh, get a good night's rest here. We're done for the night. Get your snack. Get home. Get off your feet. Big day tomorrow. Here we go. Lift day and a big practice at three. Right, let's go. Win on three. One, two, three. Win.